with another edition of One Hard Question. And uh, this week I received actually several questions from an individual and uh, for the most part they're very good. But I wanted to focus on two of them. One um, has to do with alternative education. And the question is, <clears throat> is alternative education just for bad kids? Um, well, um, first, none of our kids are bad. Uh, all of our kids are challenged in some way, but um, I'll say this about our alternative education program. Uh, it's, it's flexible and it's uh, multi-pronged, and I think that's, the, that's what any good alternative education program should, should be. It should be flexible enough to meet the needs of you know, very diverse student and stu student needs. And it should be multi-pronged so that um, you, you're able to, you know, uh, step in and address need, the needs of students, which are multifaceted. And, there, you know, there's a reason why Fauquier County Public Schools has a 95.1% on-time graduation rate. It's an outstanding rate. In fact, as reported by the state, for, for school divisions between 8,000 and 15,000 students were second in the state. Only one school division has a, a greater graduation rate amongst all school divisions, all 132 school divisions. Uh, I think we're in the, at round number 20. But the reason for that, the reason why we're able to um, sort of get those last several kids across the finish line is because we have an alt-ed program uh, that is, is flexible. And, and somewhat creative because we have kids come to us yes yeah, some of the kids that wind up in alt-ed are there for disciplinary reasons but some are there because the traditional school model just isn't working for them uh, for whatever reason and then we have other kids for example who might come to us transfer to us uh, in and our our high schools have a we utilize a 4 by 4 schedule if students transfer trend into our high school midterm in a traditional schedule, that presents a real problem for them, um, or, or an AB block schedule. If they transfer to us midterm, that creates a real problem. In many cases, those students end up in an alternative ed placement, um, so to sort of get them to where they need to be in terms of their other students in their school, so they can transition to the high school without any problems. Uh, so we, we do we, that happens at times, uh, and then there's other there's other situations where you know students need an alternative placement or setting um, you know just to ensure that they're successful in the regular in the regular school so um, we have and we have outstanding people running those programs ginger knuckles over at Thorpe House and Dr. Shelley Nybauer and Mark Marchinetti at Southeastern Alternative School they do an excellent job and uh, it's no wonder why you know our, our uh, graduation rate is ticked up to a really phenomenal level the second question was really interesting, and uh, please um, uh, indulge me as I answer this question because it kind of caught me off guard. But it says, what are the issues in our schools today that keep you up at night? And I just couldn't resist answering this question. Uh, and it's interesting because my wife is a new uh, elementary school principal, so we find ourselves now waking up at you know 2 or 3 in the morning looking at each other and, and thinking about the same sorts of things. You know student related issues personnel related issues 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 related to money um student disciplinary issues etc cetera, et cetera. We, we it's just ironic but um and but truly the things that keep me up at night are things i don't have any control over. you think it worked the opposite way but things that uh come up and bite you that you have no control over and really no say in and are completely unexpected those are the things i think are most bothersome and stressful to me um, and then also uh, not followed far behind by the more political type stuff, especially as related to budget and funding. You know, you're always trying to do more with finite dollars. You're always trying to scratch every itch. And uh, Fauquier County is unique in one respect in that, you know, parents are, are, they want a lot for their kids. You know, they want a lot of programs and they want this and they want that for the kids, which I totally understand. But we do have finite resources, so I have to often have to make difficult decisions with the resources we have. And folks don't, don't always understand it. They don't always see it that way. But um, when you have a finite uh, funding source, you got to be careful. And uh, sometimes it means having to make tough decisions. But I'm not whining. Not at all. 
just putting that out there that those are the things I think about. Uh, not that anyone cares, but somebody did because they put it in an email. Uh, but uh, anyway, I appreciate the good questions, and I hope you keep them coming. Thank you.